Comfortable, thinking everything is sweet, sleeping on the streets. Y'all done made me angry. You so this is the A, baby. All is on you. Don't make me have to hurt you. Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of. Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder. This is the A, baby. All is on you. Don't make me have to hurt you. Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of. Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder. You. And you and you are going to see that you should have never played with me. Now I'm angry. The frustration is real. Fuck everybody in the game. And the way you feel, nigga. We saw y'all come up and we just waited. We watched y'all act like y'all own this motherfucker, huh? I was the one they wouldn't let in the VIP. Big ass security guards pushing, pushing me back. back right that was my demo you forgot in your bag. That was my fist out giving you that. And that was you acting all that. I remember your ass. But now I'm moving upper class. That was me over there calling your name. I was the one on the side of the stage. I don't want your autograph. I know your name. I want you to know mine, man. This is the A, baby. All is on you. Don't make me have to hurt you. Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of. Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder. This is the A, baby. All is on ya. Don't make me have to hurt ya. Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of. Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder. You and you and you are going to see that you should have never played with me. Now I'm angry. The frustration is real Fuck everybody in the game And the way you feel, nigga I was speaking in the street, slaying CDs And that was you acting like, like you were better than me And that was you that refused to play my shit Man, I'm sick of your excuses Niggas telling me I'm a bit too aggressive This is Arizona, y'all ain't giving a shit Everything we got, we had to work hard for it That was me sweating blood and bleeding sweat Used to hate on me, you thought I'd forget That was me out there turning something from nothing Now I'm here, not giving you nothing Y'all better hire some better A&Rs or something This is the A, baby, all is on ya Don't make me have to hurt ya Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder This is the A, baby, all is on ya don't make me have to hurt ya Y'all just smoke cats that I never heard of Be some mo cats that I'll have to murder You and you and you are going to see That you should've never played with me Now I'm angry The frustration is real Fuck everybody in the game And the way you feel, nigga I thought you had it all figured out. You better open up the lid. The anger's about to be released. The frustration is real. The time is coming. All things about to stop.
1979, the boy was born. Denver, Colorado, rural Colorado area to Deborah Eldridge, Lloyd Hopkins. Those are my parents. Um, my dad was in the military, so he moved around a lot. You know, my dad, he was he was really like an abusive type dude, you know. Um, so, gosh, hold on. I'm this is the hard work right here. This is why I'm a rapper. <laughs> so I don't have to do that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you never exposed the. That's why I come through the back door. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, lyricist coming through. Yeah, yeah. Figure the building. Okay, okay. Since, uh, All right, well, I'm at the studio right now. <laughs> what's up, Claire? How you look? Yeah, I want. Uh, you signing to a contract? You signing to a contract? <laughs> no. You <didn't> sign? <laughs> I want, uh... What up, Ben? I want to be a PHX. Uh, 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 uh. Phoenix Sect, the lyricist is in the building. Now the party can begin. <laughs> there was a lot of turbulence in my household between my moms and my pops, you know, because he was a type that he had a hard day at work. He wanted to come home and take it out on your family, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I don't know if he felt he was trying to make us tougher. I don't know what the situation was. But he had come and, you know, hell, home was really hell. You know what I'm saying? Then none of us really want to be there. Didn't like being around a dude. I really don't have too many positive memories about my pops. You know what I'm saying? From when, from when I was young. There was, you know, really nothing. You know, I'm sure there were good times, but the bad times overshadowed the good times. You know, um, the embarrassment of your friends seeing the cops at your house every, you know what I'm saying, once a week. You know, every other day, because your mom and dad is fighting, and, and you know what I'm saying, and they really going at it and causing all type of ruckus and stuff. And then the cops at your house, you know, in the in in your neighborhood, everybody knows, everybody want to know what's going on. So everybody out there asking you questions, what's going on? You hanging out at your friend's house, and they talking about, you know, why the cops at your house? You know what I'm saying? And you know, ain't nobody really trying to. You know, ain't nobody really trying to go through that, you know, but it, it was a part of what we went through. Um, and kind of when things got to the breaking point, you know, my mom's kind of got to the point where um, she had enough. Freedom, that's home. Freedom is home. Freedom. Sandy hooked us up, nigga. Sandy loves us. That nigga love. loves us, though. We got the little VIP in the back. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing a nice little bottle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, dog. I was fucked up last night, nigga. I hit the beer ball, nigga. But he won his bitch's number. For That's me. what fucked you. I didn't know yeah, where Yeah, I hit the beer ball. Courtney was like, lyricist, so hit this shit. <laughs> nigga, that bitch started pouring that shit. She's like, no, not yet. No, not yet. In the beer. I didn't. I, I don't partake in those crazy <laughs> activities. That's the yeah, thing. I cleared the bomb. Boy, that shit Keep that on it for my girlfriend. Like, so my, my girlfriend watches this, she heard me say that. How to participate in these activities. <laughs> this is true. We moved out to Phoenix in the Maryville area. I was living off of, I think, 75th Avenue in Encanto. And um, right down the street from this park called Desert West. Then we moved in with my aunt, Barbara, my cousin Jay, and... Um, and my little cousin Olympia, she was just a little baby at the time. Uh, so we, we moved in with her and and we were living there for a while. And then from there I really got to get to know a lot of my uncles on my mom's side. You know, I never really knew anybody on my dad's side of the family until later on in my life. But um, I got to know my uncles and, you know, and, and they were all like, at, the, at that time they were like young dudes. And they were all into fast money, you know what I'm saying, getting... Getting that fast money, they were all ex-athletes, you know what I'm saying, and none of them really wanted to hold down a nine to five, and and none of that, you know what I'm saying. And when you when you're young, you're really thinking that's cool, you know what I'm saying. You're looking at them, they driving around in flashy cars and this, that, and the other, and and 
and you want to, and you want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want to live like that. And I, and I didn't learn until later on in life on that, that fast money, ain't really good money. You know what I'm saying? And I adapted a, a, a mentality that I want something long term. I mean, I'm looking for longevity, not just that fast money. A lot of fast, fast money comes fast and goes just as fast. Lights, camera, action, rappers get written on directions. Motherfuckers know they get cut like a C section. Oh, I got the razor, my tongue like blazer. Motherfuckers know that I am a player hater because oh, I hate the MC that's wacky to me. I might come through and put my hand and slap him G right. Hit his jump till he starts to bleed. These motherfuckers know I put up the scene oh, in the. Too tough. We walk like we dangerous. You bitch ass nigga, treat you like you wearing. Make up. My niggas come through and stand the whole place up Lyricists will come through and spit that Stop that Nigga come through and they make them Bag back He got a new So around this time is when I'm Really Feeling like I want to be an entertainer You know what I'm saying it's Still young I really know what I want to do But You know I know I do like entertaining Um But again for, for for kids from the neighborhoods where I came from, the environments I came from, there's not a lot of we don't have a lot we we're not net, we're not really taught about a bunch of different options on where we can go and really encourage the dream and put focus on education and things of that nature. So we generally gravitate to things in the entertainment field because those are where a lot of our role models come from. What's up, baby? Captain C. Phoenix Sector, Brickyard, hitting them hard. You know what I'm saying? For real, that's how we smash them around here. It's the movement, it's so bad. It's the movement, you dig? It's so bad. That's it's how we doing it. it. It's real big it's around here. You know what I'm saying? It's right killing them. You know me, I need a fresh shave. I get that later, though. If you rough and rugged, you thug it. It don't matter where we are. City to city, state to state. It don't matter where we are. City to city, state to state. Alright, alright, you wanna do the fillings? Yeah. Yes, sir. It don't matter where we are, no matter where we are, city to city, state to state, I'll be doing my thing. It don't matter where we are, no matter where we are, city to city, state to state, I'll be doing my thing. Alright, right, go ahead and do that one more time. Okay. This is how the magic happens. Tell everybody in Germany. <laughs> this is how the magic happens. Tell everybody in Ireland. This is how the magic happens. Tell everybody in China. China. Yeah. This is how the magic happens. Tell everybody in Greenland. This is how the magic happens. We got a big fan base in Greenland. Especially Destin. You go to Greenland. <laughs> And they're crazy out there. Crazy. Insane. Crazy. You think this motherfucker's the Beatles or something. That's only in Greenland, though. <laughs> only in Greenland. Only Anywhere Greenland. else. You know, he's a normal guy. But Greenland, he's the shit. <laughs> what are you saying, Greenland? <laughs> yes, Greenland. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I've never even been there. <laughs> That's the craziest <laughs> part. Like, ain't none of us been there. I just heard about it on the internet. <laughs> I saw, I saw footage on the internet. Somebody had a poster with his name up. Everybody went crazy. He wasn't even there. He wasn't crazy. Was there. Look, catch them. They about to all look crazy. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Hold on. All right. All right. That was just sound check. That was sound check. That was sound check. You're doing a great job, guys. Great job. <laughs> Good job, guys. Alright, alright, go. You know, like, I love Chris on that. It's alright, 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 it's alright.
It's alright. Perfect. You motherfuckers. They're the greatest It's Alright guys ever. About my freshman year of high school, um, I remember the, the Method Man CD came out. And, you know, I'm getting more involved in music at that time, just listening to it and being a fan of it. And that CD came out, and just the dude's delivery and his lyrical content and all that was so exciting to me, you know what I'm saying? It kind of prompted me to make my first rhyme. Like, before that, I would just kind of... I was kind of just a fan from a distance. I never really touched it. You know, I used to play around with rapping a little bit, but it was nothing I really, you know, put myself out there to do. And I didn't want to open myself up to that because I was really unsure about it. And, you know, and, and I just really didn't take it too serious. But um, when he came out with that CD, it really prompted me and motivated me to to want to, you know, at least just try to write something. You know what I'm saying? And and what I try to do is write something that I felt he would say, you know, and 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 I try to recite it how I felt he would recite it, you know. And so that was really my first introduction to actually writing a rhyme and 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 trying to memorize it and 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 and, and really further enjoying just that the culture of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And at that point I started trying to learn a lot more about it, you know, um a lot of big records came out around that time. You know, you had Snoop Dogg and, you know, and Notorious B.I.G. and a lot of cats like that coming out. And they were really putting out good music. And so that further, um, that further strengthened my love for, for, for that, for that music, you know, for hip hop music in general. Music. Your words. You touched me. You're almost famous. She said she was more than a fan. She didn't just listen, she understood. She said she loved the music so much it hurt. I was thrown back like Mitchell and that's at first. But she said, don't be alarmed, I'm not an obsessed groupie. I just had to introduce you to me. You see, you talk to my mind, let me explain. You helped me make it through some things. You were my umbrella in the midst of the rain. I once was weak, but you gave me strength. This may seem strange, but I love you. In my eyes, you're not just a rap dude You touch my life, you're so very special The way you flip your words really strikes a nerve I was thinking this is absurd How could she really love me from how I write a verse? I took a stroll down Penny Lane She said that she loves the music It's the way you talk to me I took a stroll down Penny Lane She said that she loves the music He said he was more than a fan He didn't just listen but could understand He was from a hood that looked like mine Related to every word inside my rhymes He said he did some crimes and did some time bruh Expected to hustle how I go for mine I gave him that, he returned it back Said he felt the fact I wanted our city on the map It made him proud, he was an original gangster I'm in tune to Langston Hughes, ain't no time for wasters I look him in his eyes, I see what you saying bruh It's motherfucker just like you, I do my music for. Then he gave me that again and kept it moving. And on his way out, said, Don't stop what you're doing. The slaves to the groove can't resist the music. It's beautiful when they get into it. I took a stroll down Penny Lane. She said that she loves the music. It's the way you talk to me. I took a stroll down Penny Lane. She said that she loves the music. Penny Lane came about just basically by the response I was getting and we were getting while we were out doing the music because the music that we're making really hasn't really been seen out here, you know what I'm saying? And it was really another level and people would come up to me at times and be like, you make us proud to be in Arizona, you know what I'm saying? You make us proud to represent this state and I, I basically put those thoughts and sentiments on the music, you know what I'm saying? That appreciation, that love, we put it on the beat, you know? And I basically was telling the story about how fans are relating to what we're doing, and it's a beautiful thing. I love it. I love it all. I love it all. We appreciate it all, for real. Yo, all my fans in Germany, man. 
I can't believe I'm even saying something like that. But yo, Phoenix Sector, we out there in Germany. Lyricist Cap and C, my brothers right here, man. This is my heart. Atlas, this is this to Germany, baby. Yes. Y'all gotta see this. This sector, right? We want Germany doing this. We come to Germany, greet us with handshakes like that. Study that. Rewind it back. Do it again. We want to see that. What we used to all do is we all would battle at lunchtime. All the best rappers would get together and battle each other and all this, that, and the other. And I've always been, a, I guess I've always kind of been business minded. And the way I started looking at it is like, we all sitting here battling and everybody loving it. But if we formed a group, we could go out here and crush everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because we the dopest here. What we need to do is link up and go start killing everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So, Cats was with it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing, the thing about it, though, is that a lot of this game takes work. And as time goes on, a lot of people ain't really got the patience to really put in the work that it really takes to be successful at this. So, you know, we, we in high school, we 18, still thinking, to, some of us still think we got life ahead of us or whatever. Me, personally, I'm thinking, like, life is over. It's time to get this now. You know what I'm saying? You can't you lose. It's 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 my mom's taught me never to reveal A hundred percent of my trust and fools But only to stab them with rusted tools And gas they ass up with rocket fuel I guess that's why you were suspect I'm the king of the fool Just to hold up the fact that ain't you Terry Hill Terror mechanism to save my brain skill It's not my fault I'm speaking You can't relate to them It's activated, activated, aggravated, elevated Hello. 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 Hello.